<laughs> it is time now. A little high five between the two final defenders. All right, here we go. Time now to cast the final vote. Panelists, you have a ballot in front of you. Well, I know who I'm voting for. And you for. have a thick black marker. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can all rest fairly confident uh, that we know which uh, book Clara and Vinay will be voting off the bookshelf. I remind you that the ballot you cast right now is the book, as it has been all week long, that you wish to eliminate. The book that you put an X beside is the book that will be removed and not win Canada Reads. I cannot make that clear enough because it's a little more confusing today when there are only two left. So you are voting for the book that you wish to eliminate from Canada Reads. The last book remaining will win. Cora is going to take your ballot when you're done. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a dry mouth. My heart is pounding. Gosh, the stakes here. We're in the 15th edition of Canada Reads, and uh, which means, okay, Adam, Adam, Adam is stuck. There are only two choices, but anyway, we don't want to rush you. Um, I will. I'm sweaty palms. I know, I'm with you. The, 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 it's a pressure cooker here. I will remind you that what you have just done, because the ballots have all been cast now, what you've just done is help decide which of these two books will join uh, a super impressive list. 14 fantastic titles have won CBC's Battle of the Books in past, just to name a few of them. Uh, last year, of course, Rue by Kim Twee, The Arenda by Joseph Boyden. Yeah, you can just keep clapping. These are all amazing books. February by Lisa Moore. Uh, the Best Laid Plans by Terry Follis, which found its own, uh, you know, life on television, of course, as a TV series. Complicated Kindness, way back in 2006, by the by Miriam Taves, who's gone on, you know, continues to wow us all with her writing. I should mention that Lawrence Hill has won before for 2009's The Book of Negroes, uh, Lullabies for Little Criminals by Heather O'Neill. Way back, the who know? Does anybody? This is a little trivia for Canada Reads fans. Anybody remember which book won the very first Canada Reads back in 2002? Shout it out if you know it. Oh, um, in the Skin of a yeah. Lion, I heard Michael it from Andachi. over here, yeah. yes, yeah. Yeah. Michael Andachi's book. Um, so this is uh, some pretty esteemed company. Uh, those are just some of the titles that whichever book wins today will join in, uh, in that sense. And as we've said, I mean, really, all these books are fantastic, and I do hope that everyone will read them all, but we're about to find out which one is our official winner. I have the ballots. <laughs> Okay, on top of my pile today is Vinay Vermani. No, the heart's pounding a little slower here because I think we're pretty sure which book you voted off. Do you want to tell us what it was? The illegal. <laughs> the illegal. All right, we got one vote against the illegal and uh, Clara Hughes. Oh, Clara Hughes adds a note. Tell them what you wrote uh, beside your box. Oh, well, I voted Quickly. off the Hero's Walk and I said, but I'm really sad because I love this book. Okay. <laughs> and I mean it. So I, I have one vote for each of, um, of those two books. Farah Muhammad, your ballot is next in my pile. Please tell me, which book did you vote off? I voted off the illegal. All right, I have two votes against the illegal. Bruce Poontip, which book did you vote off? I voted off Hero's Walk, I'm sorry. Okay, oh my gosh, a hush goes through the crowd. Uh, Adam Copeland, you're our decision maker. Yeah. Look at you. Now I know Should we arm wrestle it out? No. Uh, Adam Copeland, you're, you're, you have the deciding vote. Yeah, and I feel for Clara now, because the other day she went through this. She had to be the tiebreaker, and today it's you. Uh, Which book did you vote off Canada Reads? Hero's Walk. The Hero's Walk has been eliminated, which means the illegal is the winner of Canada Reads 2016.